Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> um, apparently, uh, there's an insert mode and an overwrite mode. And by default, Visual Studio, for some reason, was an overwrite mode. So if you wanted to like insert something in here, it's going to overwrite it. Now, who in the right mind would be a programmer and want to be in overwrite mode? I just think, you know, that's just really silly to have Visual Studio set to overwrite mode. So to get it set to insert mode on uh, a Windows PC, you've got to hit the Alt and then insert um, key. Well, I'm not on a Windows PC, I'm on a Mac. So I had to do a bunch of searching to find out, well, how do I change, because I don't have an insert button on my, on my Mac. I'm running, um, you know, Visual Studio or Visual Studio on a Windows 7 but that's on parallels on my Mac. So, you know, so basically I have to go in order to get this, you know, cursor out of the way, I have to go hit the FN key and hit the return. And then that puts it into insert mode. So all of that. So in other words, Visual Studio did really well with, you know, doing this stuff you know, creating another parenthesis, creating another squirrely thing, you know, but yet they had it set up for overwrite mode. And I don't know, anyone in their right mind would program in overwrite mode because it would just be the biggest pain. All right, so I'm done venting. <laughs> okay, so basically I wanted to just, you know, take this and put in power part. And then from there, do the same thing with this thing. Okay. And then from there, I can go ahead and, you know, put this in over here. But of course, you know, I can't use these things. I have to use uh, these because otherwise it won't work. And if I'm in insert mode, I can do that. All right, so now P is uh, multiplied by, and we're going to multiply by the entire thing. Okay, so now it looks similar. So let's put the uh, return payment. All right, so now <clears throat> what it does is when it gets payment, it's going to um, take the interest, and it's going to, uh, you know, convert it. Because this interest right over here actually has to be uh, converted to, uh, you know, if it says like, if it says 4.5% interest, it's got to be, you know, converted to that. But then you're going to do it monthly. So that's why you divide it um, by 1,200. All right, so now let's go ahead and do the, the main. So now we've got include... I'll stream include um, amortization, and we're going to using namespace std int main return zero. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to test it. So I'm going to make up. Um, I'm just going to call my object that, and I'm going to go uh, see out your default payment is uh, more dot get payment. All right, so now I want to keep the window open, so I'm going to go cin dot get. All right, debug it. Uh, out of date. <clears throat> Let's hope it runs. Okay, cool. It works. All right, so now <coughs> what I want to do is take in some user input. So I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to declare some things over here. Um, double. Uh, P I R, okay, 
and then R N. <clears throat> and I can call them anything I want. I mean, I can call them like um, principal, interest, uh, periods. Um, the reason you can call them anything you want is because this main right here is totally separate from this. It just simply uses it. Um, uh, let's put it this way. Uh, this depends on these things over here. So the arrows are going this way. But these things right over here don't ever see, you know, what this thing is doing, basically. So in other words, I can call this anything I want and it's not going to affect these things. All right, so, <clears throat> so I'm going to uh, enter principal and cn principal cout enter interest CN interest <clears throat> enter number of periods CN periods okay but now I'm going to create a new object we call it a more two, and I'm going to go ahead and put in um, the principal. <clears throat> Surprised that the IntelliSense more two. It's not. Uh, Usually IntelliSense will actually show, uh, you know, how many parentheses I have over here in the methods. Anyway, um, principal, so this is why I got to put this stuff in here up top. Interest. Oh, now it's showing up. Okay, so you see how it says P, I, and N. If I actually change this right over here, to just um, to that, it's just going to say double, double, double. So I don't know which one goes where. You can do it like that. A lot of people do it like that. But I just realized the other day that I probably want to actually say this is where my P goes. You know, even though you're just declaring it as a double and you really don't need to, it makes it nice when you do this and you can actually see it says P, I, and R so I know, oh, i got to put my interest in this one and i got to put my, uh, I don't want to put R and then i got to put my uh, number of periods in this one Okay, so now when I, um, and I'm going to call this a mort2 because I don't want to, because I already have an amort up here. So now I'm going to, your payment is, okay, mort2.getpayment. So now when I run this, I'm going to also put a little dollar sign over here. So it gives me the first payment up here. So now this payment right over here, I'm going to, let's say, put in $100,000 at 6% interest over, let's say, um, 360 periods. And look at that. See, now it disappeared. The reason why is because I'm actually taking in user input. So now I have to go can.clear, can.ignore. Now it'll work. Okay, so I'll do the same thing, 100,000, 6% interest, 360 periods, gives me that much of a payment. So, 
And then if I want to round it, I can then just go um, include iominip. And I don't use this all the time, so I think the way it works is you got to go set precision, and then you got to go like two, and then you got to go fixed. Let me get rid of this stuff over here. So you got to do all this stuff. Um, I think that works, right? Let me just do it over here too. All right. No, it's not working. Maybe I've got to do this one first. Do it over here. Oh, okay. So you gotta you gotta do all this crazy stuff before your output, so it knows how to format your output. Um, honestly, let me put that over here. I think this is. A lot of stuff to do. Um, I think um, you know later on we can do like a round method to show you how to round it because um, most other languages just you know use round methods where this set precision thing it doesn't actually change the values but what it does is it it changes the output so when you you know put in your input it gives you you know the right answer. Anyway, so that's how to do the amateurization, um, you know, with the headers, the implementation, uh, the calculator, how to use Visual Studio 2013, looking at the new features, and then at the same time fixing the little silly thing that they had in there with having it in overwrite mode as opposed to insert mode. Like I said, I don't know anyone who uses overwrite mode for programming, so I don't know why they put a programming software in overwrite mode, but. Now we know that if you're on a uh, Windows PC, you've got to go Alt and press the Insert key. And if you're on a Mac, on uh, like a virtual machine, you got to press the FN key and then press Return. So good thing to know. All right, thanks.